This is Kauai, also known as the Garden Island. It's the fourth largest island of the Hawaiian Islands. Now, there are four main regions in Kauai. Lahui, also known as the east side or the coconut coast, the north shore with Hanalei Bay, and the south shore with Poipu Beach, and the west side with the Waimea Canyon. So here's what we did on our one week journey. Come along. <laughs> the first landmark we visited is the Makawahi Cave Reserve. The cave is the largest limestone cave in Hawaii and it's the richest fossil site. Archaeologists found the bones of a Kauai mole duck and it's an extinct species. In the middle is a collapsed cave which collapsed over 7,000 years ago which formed a lagoon. In order to get in, you need to crawl through a little hole. But make sure you're there before 3.45 p.m. because it's the last entry. The hours are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> Show how much water is in the float valve. Be careful not to bump your head when you're climbing through. Not far from the cave is Mahulapu Beach. We wanted to take a dip before the sunset, and this beach is perfect because of the sandy bottom. We also found a seal chilling on the side of the beach. Yeah, I see his nose, he's breathing. The next day, we made our way up to the North Shore region. We crossed many truss bridges. When we got there, we first explored the Monini Holo Dry Cave. This cave used to be bigger, but a tsunami in 1957 filled it with sand. This cave formed thousands of years ago when erosion from the waves crashed up against the cliff. Dang, Dad, this goes down deep. Close your eyes, like, stop talking. <laughs> 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 
We also went to the Limahuli Garden, a botanical garden. Here you can see many endangered plants that are preserved, and introduced species. Plus, the American Horticultural Society rated this as one of the most fascinating and beautiful gardens in the United States. Big waves down there. Whoa! In order to access the Nepali coast, you need to go through the Haena State Park. A great way to spend time at the Nepali coast is hiking at the Kalalau Trail. Make sure you book in advance because every day it reaches maximum capacity. Before we started our journey to the west side the next day, we stopped by a town named Hanapepe. You can see the Hanapepe Swinging Bridge and it was built in 1911 for residents. In 1992, the bridge was wiped out by Hurricane Iniki and was rebuilt and it is now a popular tourist attraction. Ooh, it is wobbly. We next made our way up to Waimea Canyon. When we drove up the hills, we pulled over at almost every turnout because the view just got greater every time. Yeah, I got you first. <laughs> Further up the road, we came across the Waimea Red Dirt Waterfall. The reason why the dirt is red is because this used to be basalt containing iron, and it oxidized over time. The first lookout we went to is the Waimea Canyon Lookout. This is the most expansive view of the entire canyon. There are even some helicopter tours in the distance going on. The next lookout we went to is the Kalalau Lookout. Whoa. We're above the clouds over there. At the end of Highway 550 was the Nepali Forest Reserve and the Pahaya Trail. If you have time before the hike, this is an excellent spot for bird watching. You could even see some birds that look like this. Doesn't he look cute?
Don't miss the opportunity of kayaking at the Waialua River. It's the longest navigable river and a truly tranquil experience. As opposed to whitewater rafting in Montana, which is insane. After kayaking two miles, you park your kayak and you continue your journey through a lush forest. At the end of the simple hike, you are rewarded with the beautiful sight of Hidden Falls. We even decided to take a dip in. Our last day on the island ended up being the best sunset we've watched. Good thing we stuck around, because 30 minutes after the sun went down, the sky burst into multiple vibrant colors. Despite the garden island size, there is so much to see and do, and one week is simply not enough to explore it all. I suppose it will require multiple trips. That's why Kauai is my favorite Hawaiian island. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.